Okay, let's make a video about fractions. Uh, like, how to understand fractions? Fractions are very, very important. We're gonna check it in math all the way in all elementary, middle school, and high school. So let's check some examples. So here I have. Uh, this is a whole one, and this one here, writing as a fraction, would be one over one because from one piece I take one the shaded shaded part is what we take so here in one half means from two from two parts I have two parts I just take one which is this part here so it's one over two here from three parts one two and three from three parts I take one which is this one the shadow region shaded region one out of four I have four here the total the whole is the denominator and what is indicated or the shaded part here is the numerator so one over four is the fraction here this one is divided into five pieces so it will be one out of five so let's do now the ones here let's do this example for example here I have divided in two and I'm taking both so divided in two it will be over two and taking both so it will be two over two remember two over two is equal to one then here I have two regions selected from three so I'm selecting two from three so two two over three this one is from four pieces from four parts I select two so it's 2 over 4 and if you see he here that this 2 over 4 match with one half over here because this is half of the whole and here is half of the whole but in this case it's divided into pieces I take 1 but in this case it's divided into 4 pieces and I take 2 here I have 1 2 3 4 5 so I'm selecting 2 that will be 2 out of 5 and in this case it will be 2 out of 6 so 2 out of 6 okay and if you look at this one this one looks like match of course it match with 1 over 3 because those two parts here if I make a new divisions like this this will be 1 2 and 3 so from 3 parts I select 1 so 2 over 6 and 1 over 3 is um, they are equivalent okay so it's the same area now let's take a look at the different representation here we have so I have a 1 which is uh, the whole now this one piece this long rectangle here I'm divided in half now from two parts from two I'm taking in one and this one from two I'm taking in one I can do the same with this piece if this piece I divide it by two it will be a fourth because from the first one here I'm dividing the big rectangle into four pieces one two three four so from four pieces this piece only this piece here is one piece one over four this is another piece, another piece, another piece. This is another one fourth, one fourth, one fourth. This is a second piece. This one, it will be a third piece. I'm using different colors so I don't make you confused on anything. And this will be another one here. Okay, so each of this rectangle is a fourth of the big one on the top. Now if we can look at the last one, the last small rectangles that looks like squares, they are one eighth, but one eighth of the big piece. And we can say, and also we're seeing that one it's equal one half plus one half because those two half makes a one. And those two fourth makes a half. And those two eighth make makes a fourth there are many things we can learn from this uh, box okay but for right now uh, it's okay 
Let's take a look now at a real representation using money. So here we have a dollar and we have here four quarters. So those four quarters represent the dollar. Okay, so one, two, three, four. The dollar will be four out of four because to make a dollar we need the fourth quarters so four out of four it's equal one so four divided by four is one that's why this uh, coin is called a quarter because it's a fourth of 100 cents which is this one dollar so this is one fourth this one is another fourth another fourth another fourth and we make a dollar over there I have here smaller coins. Let's take a look at this. So this is a dime, 10 cents, and those two are the nickel, 5 cents. So this one is 10 cents, and those two are 5 and 5. 5 and 5. So this nickel is one half of the dime. So one nickel is equal one half of the dime, of one dime, okay? Because a dime is 10 cents and a nickel is only 5 cents. Okay, let's take a look at some other exercises here. I'm trying to go slow and to give you different examples so you can uh, understand perfectly this um, difficult topic which is present. And, and fractions sorry fractions now what do I have percent here because percent is an special fraction it's an special fraction which, that is divided by 100 so 10 percent is 10 divided by by 100 20 percent is 20 divided by 100 30 percent it's 30 divided by 100 40 percent is 40 divided by 100 and so on I think you got the idea. Let's do a couple more, like 70%, it's 70 divided by 100, 80 divided by 100, and I think you can finish the rest, okay? So a percent is a special fraction which is always divided by 100, okay? So let's complete this, uh, looks like a, like a wall, but let's see if we can complete as much as we can. So the first one on top will be 1. So if this one I divide it by 2, because I'm dividing it by 2, it will be 1 over 2, 1 half. Now I see 1, 2, 3. So it will be over 3, 1 over 3. 1, 2, 3, 4. So divide it by 4, 1 over 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this piece is over 5, so it's 1 over 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So these pieces are 1 over 6. What is this one? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 1 over 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 1 over 8. Here I have a 9. 1 over 9, and here I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is 1 over 10. Now, each of this piece is 1 over 10. Each of this piece is 1 over 9. You see, each of this is 1 over 8, 1 over 7, and so on. We just write 1 just as a manner of an example. But for example, each of this piece is 1 fifth, okay? So that's another exercise you can practice. So let's let's practice here some exercise using some geomet basic geometric figures. So match the fraction with an area and create your own figure if needed. So here I have four fractions and I have four figures. So let's check the first one. The first one has four parts, one, two, three, four, and just three are shaded, okay? So it will be like three over four. Three over four is here, number three. So we can put number three, which is this one, or 
we, we can do a line like this or if you want we just put here 3 over 4 so next one is 3 out of 5 which is this one 3 out of 5 it's number 1 or we put 3 out of 5 that's it that one here is 4 4 out of 4 so let's go here it's number 2 or we put 4 over 4 depends how you feel better this one here has 1, 2, 3 out of 4. This is another 3 out of 4. Okay? 3 over 4 is this one. This is 3 out of 4. But also this is 3 out of 4. So both are 3 out of 4. Which is also 3. Now I have this 1 over 6. The idea is that you do it by yourself. You just select this to a rectangle. I think that's the easiest one and you divide it into three pieces three here three here so that will be six pieces one two three four five six so from six pieces we select one so it will be this so this is a representation of one over six so i hope this video helped you uh, understand the fractions uh, let me know in the comments if uh, really help you this is an introductory video and you need to understand fractions very very well because then in other grades you're going to start working fractions and um, fractions with variables but i'm going to scare you right now so thank you for watching the video and god bless you have a great day